It's even named as one of the top three reasons why SMEs go bankrupt. They fail because they don't have cash enough to face the coming payments. We know that a lot of SMEs are suffering from a lack of liquidity. We cannot afford to lose any SMEs due to this problem. Because there are many SMEs that are very profitable. There are many SMEs that have a very good uh, business model that due to the uh, uh, problems to get access to credit and due to the problem of late payments, they cannot afford to continue the business because of the they run out of uh, cash. Really because the size is so different between the public sector, obi companies and SMEs. The tradition has been that the bigger can dictate however long payments <clears throat> they can wish or, the, uh, or hope or dictate to the SMEs. And this reverse lending actually has hurt very badly the financial positions of the SMEs on the time when we really can't afford it, when the SMEs would need all the money possible to develop their activities. There are even more SMEs this year suffering from liquidity constraints than last year. I think it's important, especially for the small companies, that also member states start implementing the late payment directive in a correct way, in a timely fashion. I think it's up to them now to make sure that the SMEs have the right framework, especially the smaller companies will benefit from the right implementation and not the gold plating by member states of this regulation. And I think at European level it's also important that we continue to invest in best practices, knowledge sharing between companies and between public uh, uh, governments to make sure that uh, companies know what their rights are and that they are aware that the late payment directive is in place. We still have a long way to go to make this directive a powerful and effective tool and to jumpstart our economic growth and employment in Europe. The late payment uh, directive will have a very positive impact in the EU economy, especially regarding growth and job creation. We know that the SMEs have a problem accessing finance and of course making sure that their payments are being made on time will help them get their liquidity. I think it's also important that in the end this will help our European economy, it will create growth, it will protect jobs in the end. I think it's especially important for SMEs that this late payment directive is being put in place. SMEs feel the consequences of default on payments, which is a major threat to their growth and survival. This new payment directive will definitely uh, improve the liquidity of, SM, uh, of SMEs. In the coming future, we will see that many companies, many jobs are saved thanks to this new payment directive. It's important that especially SMEs have enough cash at hand to make sure their operations keep running because I think it's important that they also are able to invest and I think that uh, respect for the, for the uh, payment time that they have in their contract is really important. And if we help our SMEs in doing that and achieving a better liquidity, I think they can also help much better to grow the European economy and in the end also protect or even create new jobs. We are in a vast campaigning all over the Europe to have this directive on place, on national legislation, to have it implemented, to have it monitored that it is really followed, to have a vast campaigns delivering the message to all of our SMEs, other enterprises and definitely to the public sector that this very important tool for financing for the Europe is on place and it should be followed. So in the end it will strengthen their position on the market. It will also make sure that the, the, the competition is more fair across the different countries because of course late payments and distortions in the late payment are, are not helping SMEs. So I think in the end it will be an important tool to restore liquidity and also competitiveness to our SMEs. Now we have to push even harder for the swift implementation of the late payments directive in each and every member state. I'm very happy that uh, not only this directive is in place, but this very good campaign has had a good outreach all over the Europe. And 
I believe our entrepreneurs are very, very well equi equipped and informed uh, to safeguard and preserve their rights when it comes to late payments. This is one small step to the flourishment and growth of the euro. The information campaign of the European Commission has already contributed to a great extent to better awareness among businesses and public authorities and should therefore be continued. My SME intergroup in the European Parliament is ready to partner with EU institutions, member states and business associations to contribute. So the late payment directive will add to the liquidity of companies and therefore they can invest faster and better and create jobs. Thanks to this new uh, directive, many SMEs will uh, somehow solve these problems. Well, SMEs are really the backbone of the European economy and the late payment directive will really help SMEs to make sure that they have adequate access to liquidity and they can continue investing and protect jobs.